Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a good day. In today's video, we are going to take a little bit of a break from the typical coding that we do on this channel. And we are going to answer a very quick question here from one of our Facebook group users. And his name is Hazim, and uh, he's also living in Los Angeles, California. So let me quickly read off his message here. And he says, hey Brian, hope all is well. I wanna start by saying that your YouTube videos are great and thank you for them. Uh, my question is that a lot of times I see myself taking code from you or some other YouTuber. An example would be swiping horizontally with Swift, but I don't really grasp how everything works. And it seems to me more like syntax remembering than logic itself. Okay, so this is actually a really, really good question. And one little tiny secret that I wanna let you guys in on is that Whenever I'm building out production applications, I'm actually copying code from all over the place. For example, I'm usually doing a lot of Google searching and stack overflow searching, and a lot of the solutions that I find online, what I'm doing is I'm modifying it just a little bit to fit the exact problem that I'm trying to solve myself. And so for those of you guys that are a little bit newer to programming, don't be afraid to copy and paste code from external sources, because remember, professionals do it too. Now, one thing I do like to talk about when I'm discussing programming is to kind of compare programming with being a chef or cooking a particular dish. So whenever you're trying to cook something new, you actually have to refer to some kind of recipe. And this recipe contains a set of directions for what kind of ingredients you need to go out and buy, right? And once you go out and buy these ingredients, you have to refer back to the recipe to kind of know how to prepare these ingredients. And then once all of the preparation work is done, you go back to the recipe one last time to figure out the proper cooking instructions so that you can cook the meal and serve it to your guests. So basically in this metaphor, the recipe that we're talking about here is very, very similar to the lines of code that we're copying and pasting from the internet. And whenever you have to build the same feature or cook the same dish again, you always have to refer back to the original source to kind of refresh your memory on how everything is done. Now, if you build out the feature enough times, you're not gonna have to refer back to the original documentation to see how it works. You're gonna know how to do it just through sheer repetition. So the one last thing I wanna say here is that programming is like a muscle. The more you train at it, the stronger you'll get. So if you compare programming to, for example, professional basketball, NBA players start to train at the age of seven or eight years old, and then they train all the way until they're 19 to 20 when they finally get drafted to the NBA. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that if you want to become a professional at a particular skill set, you really need to train 10 to 15 years to become really, really good. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Now, I'm really curious as to what kind of code you guys feel super, super guilty about when you copy and paste. For me, every time I need to merge two branches together in Git, I always have to look up what that syntax is. And finally, make sure to like the video as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.